you know, this is a pretty good day. We're, we're really lucky. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with the Visit Pittsburgh group because um, we don't have a formal sports commission in Pittsburgh yet. Um, I know they're working hard on it, and uh, to see what they were able to accomplish with all of these bids is nothing, I mean, it's really impressive. Um, because you've got to have all of the partnerships and all of the support in place and then to be able to execute them. And so um, I'm excited about, you know, really, we need a sports commission in the city of Pittsburgh. And then you can do a lot of different programming um, with the professional teams, with the college teams, all in the city. I mean, you can do morning sports reports. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff that you guys would love that I know our city would love. And it's a way to expose our city to the, you know, I mean, you catch people after games, you catch coaches in and out of games, but to give them a different venues to be a part of um, is something we can really build upon in the city of Pittsburgh. So I'm excited. These guys are great. Um, you can tell uh, that they've got some strong leadership. Pretty big news. About a, a month into your tenure here, I guess, at Pitt, but just how's it been going for you so far? This is, uh, this is what we do, right? You know, we, we have the chance to um, have an unbelievable opportunity to expose the city to uh, one of the premier NCAA championships. You know, I mean, there's only so many that actually make money and generate revenue in the NCAA structure, and wrestling is one of them. And uh, for us to be able to bring it to Pittsburgh at this time uh, and to be able to announce our new head coach really at the exact same time is, is fortuitous, and um, we're really lucky. Uh, coach Gavin is... Um, uh, you know, I was just saying to you all that I, I, I bet he rivals a little bit of the energy that Coach Narduzzi brings. Um, he is a go-getter. He's, he's an unbelievable um, person, uh, dynamic personality, you know, just driven to be the best and um, a, a really great leader who's been surrounded and he's been trained by a lot of guys that I know in the wrestling profession that I have profound respect for. So I know he's been trained by the best. Um, he expects the best out of our kids and um, he's gonna create an unbelievable environment uh, for our kids to excel at the highest level. How far was the hiring process going before you got here? Uh, it was pretty far. Um, I'll tell you, you know, I interviewed uh, one candidate, I think my second day on the job. Uh, this is a destination wrestling head coaching job. And it is, you know, I don't know how much of a sleeping giant, I don't know if we want to call it a sleeping giant, but it has unbelievable potential. And so this is a job that we didn't want to rush into. We wanted to find the absolute perfect fit for pit wrestling. Um, and so I think we found that. I mean, we've got a dynamic leader who knows what it takes to, to excel and, and has done it himself as an NCAA champion and um, then went on and obviously trained at an extremely high level post-college career, which is really what these, you know, the best of the best want to aspire to do. They want to be an Olympic champion. So if you want to be an Olympic champion, obviously an NCAA championship is in your path. And he knows what it takes to do that. Um, he loves the city of Pittsburgh, you know. And for I remember when we met with him during the interview, he said, you know, every coach dreams of being a head coach and leading a program. But to get to do it in the city that you absolutely love at your alma mater is a dream come true. And uh, so I love the fact that he uh, he really wants to be here and he knows what it takes to build a championship level team. He mentioned he mentioned that you reached out to him later on in the process. So even though you guys missed out on like maybe the more experienced coaches like Flynn and um, uh, Santoro, is it kind of like a good fallback to have a former national champion, a young coach willing to step in and start his career here? Yeah, I wouldn't call him a fallback. I would call him the perfect fit at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, you know, we wanted to do our due diligence. Again, this is an unbelievable destination job, and you want someone who has the courage and confidence and knows how to build it and wants to build it here. It needs built. Um, and so uh, I think he's the perfect fit. Just, was he a candidate before you got here, Heather? I, yeah, I, yeah, he was definitely in the mix. Wow. I mean, he was definitely in the mix. He was a guy that we, I wanted to meet. Mm -hmm. um, and understand his level of maturity, his level of preparation, his, um, you know, his readiness to be a head coach and step in and take the lead. His name was on your, on your mind oh, before yeah. you got here then, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, uh, what were the challenges? That he had somebody who played or coached here to come back 
How important is it? Yeah. When, um, you're, when you're weighing those decisions. You know, obviously it's, it's a great thing to have um, an understanding of the culture of pit athletics and the history and, and that sort of thing, but it's not an ultimate determining factor. Um, it's an added bonus in this particular case. I think he's a tremendous leader with an exceptional wrestling pedigree, um, knows how, you know, he's in it for the right reasons about developing the relationships with our student athletes, making them better people, better, obviously, wrestlers and better leaders. The fact that he went to Pitt and was an NCAA championship is, is, is kind of icing to me. When we talk to people at the grassroots level of wrestling, they talk about Pittsburgh. Right? Yeah. How in Western Pennsylvania is such a great area. But if you think about the top wrestling programs at the collegiate level, you think Oklahoma State, Iowa, Penn State, is it realistic for Pitt to be in the same conversation with those like, top tier wrestling programs in the country? It's realistic to aspire to get there, and we got to build it. So absolutely. I mean, you know, this is a recruiting hotbed, and, and everybody knows that. This is the mecca of, of, you know, youth development of wrestling between Ohio and, and Western PA. It's, it's, it's an unbelievable opportunity. So it's about building those relationships with the Young Gun Clubs and all those organizations around the area. Um, and getting those kids, I mean, you know, would you rather come on an unofficial visit to Pitt, or do you want to pay to fly out to X school, you know? So I think it's absolutely a possibility. This is a really um, perfect location, strong brand, and in a dynamic leader. Now that you have coach. been outside the program, and you've seen what those places have as far as facilities, as far as support, where do you feel like Pitt can do better um, going forward in supporting the wrestling program? Yeah, I would say that it starts with leadership. So we had to hire the right person. Um, and Keith Gavin is that. The second part is absolutely surrounding all of our head coaches, certainly Coach Gavin, but all of our head coaches with all the right support systems from your strength conditioning program, your you know academic support, your development team, your compliance group. I mean, every part of our medical team, every single part of the athletic department has, that's what I talk about, comprehensive excellence. It's not just about one coach and one person. It is about every single person in the department, you know, performing at the highest level that you possibly can, and um, and, and and assessing our facilities and, and that sort of opera, you know, where our kids compete. You know, I mean, wouldn't we want them in the Peterson Center? I, I, you know, at some point, I do. And so there's a chance for us to build a program and support system around all of our coaches, and that's how you build comprehensive excellence. You can't do it by pe one person alone. When it comes to wrestling facilities, is that something you're going to try to, you know, concentrate on? Maybe do some improvements to get that program to where you want it to be? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we are in the process of uh, assessing our athletic facilities, and we have an athletic facility master plan, and um, I, we need to identify priorities and focus on those. Uh, the Chancellor's been incredible, um, you know, a visionary leader and uh, given us a lot of um, opportunity to have these conversations to develop an athletic facility master plan and what are the greatest priorities, greatest needs, um, and there's some things that need addressed and what, we have great opportunity to do that, which is exciting. What were the biggest challenges, Heather, of us stepping into that search at such a relatively late stage? Um, you know, there, you know, just the amount of time in a day. You know, um, there, there weren't challenges because I know the sport incredibly well. Um, I, you know, I, obviously, I, I spent a huge amount of time on a number of wrestling searches in my career. Um, it's a very small network. I know all the head coaches in the top 10 to 20 programs. I know their assistants. Um, so I'm pretty familiar, and I have a strong network of people. Um, so I felt very comfortable walking in. I just wanted to make sure we did our due diligence and got the best absolute coach who was the perfect fit for Pitt. You know, this uh, program went through kind of, you know, I guess kind of the chair of, of a turmoil uh, last season, obviously sort of exemplified with a mid-season coaching change. When you when you stepped in and first, and first took a look at it, I mean, what's, what to you sort of immediately stood out as some of the biggest concerns, some of the biggest things you wanted to try to address and fix? Well, I mean, it starts with the leadership. So we had to bring in a coach that understands how to build a program from ground zero. And, um, you know, I met with the team uh, and had a chance to get to know them. 
they shared with me their goals and in a you know pretty very organized fashion I was impressed with the leader a couple of the leaders on the team um, there needs a culture of accountability a culture of discipline a culture of you know raising the bar of expectations and um, student athletes like structure they love discipline and in fact I think that they do better when you continue to raise the bar because you tend to meet what your expectations are and um, and so I, you know I think it's I, I, I think the challenge is to come in and start to build that culture of, of excellence and um, I'm very confident that Coach Gavin knows what that looks like.